good afternoon to everyone as you are aware that mcet results have come now students are thinking about joining engineering course and then tomorrow onwards certificate verification is happening after certificate verification they need to go for the choosing of college and branches in order to know that what exactly the branches and how they can choose the branch what are the areas they need to focus and who is eligible for which branch are there any uh, specific parameters that they need to take care all these things uh, will be discussed as you know that the most demand oriented course right now is mechanical engineering now we have got eminent personality a person who has got lot of uh, experience in the mechanical engineering dr s madhu sir it's my privilege to introduce uh, dr s madhu sir he has received a bachelor of engineering uh, from bangalore university in 1989 a master of engineering in machine design from bangalore university in 1992 and a phd in advanced computer from jawaharlal nehru pakistan pakistan in 2014 yes sir his initial academic appointment was at karnataka regional engineering college surat kal bangalore he moved to indian institute of technology chennai in the year 1996 as senior project officer he then moved to industries and served in various capacities both in manufacturing and software sectors he returned to academics again in 2002 and served koner lakshmiya college of engineering vijayawada in 2003 he joined the department of mechanical engineering at uh, adama university nazareth he returned to india in the year 2009 and served as academician in various colleges in various capacities He is a life member of indian society for technical education he has published n number of national and international uh, publications and uh, his research work comprises of comprises of design and analysis of carbon nanotube cnt reinforced polymer composites the work mainly involves finding the suitability of cnt reinforced polymers composites in structural applications under various loading and boundary conditions using classical laminate plate theory currently he is actively involved in analysis the results obtained using the other theories i'm um, very glad sir happy that you have given us time to talk about the prospects and placements of mechanical engineering uh, we welcome you sir endukante ipudu manaki report nunchi certificate verification undi dan tarvata engineering branches choose chestunnaru enduku mechanical engineering branch choose cheskovali dan paina koncham vivaranga cheppali sir uh thank you very much uh, dr srinivas rao sir uh, thanks for the wonderful introduction uh, you have given and in fact you know i must uh, really appreciate you because uh, at the right time you have taken up uh, this live interaction uh, i am sure that you know the audience or most of them are uh, intermediate students and probably the parents also might be there along with them uh, it's all about mechanical engineering why should we go for mechanical engineering and uh, what are the prospects of the mechanical engineering what could be the future of uh, mechanical engineering i think in course of time you know when we are interacting i'll definitely educate all of them regarding this let me give a very brief introduction about this mechanical engineering and uh, uh, for me this is the most evergreen branches of engineering if you look at the history uh, like you know the whole story of engineering mechanical engineering started with the invention of uh, wheel and from then onwards you know like there was no looking back for the mechanical engineering field and uh, ever since a wheel was invented you know like uh, there were several innovations uh, in fact you know if you look back you know it is somewhere around about 3500 bc this wheel was invented meaning which it is one of the oldest branches in engineering and it deals with the concepts like thermodynamics fluids uh, mechanics and the structural analysis even uh, today also the scope of mechanical engineering is very very vast now these concepts which we study in uh, engineering uh, are most widely used and they are all practical oriented in fact you know if you look at the state of the art of motor vehicles manufacturing units air traps etc you know we make use of the principles of mechanical engineering 
apart from the machinery and the vehicles the mechanical engineering uh, engineers significantly contribute towards the development of uh, power equipment engines and complex machinery systems it's not only the design and manufacturing even the maintenance and testing of such a machinery and equipment are considered as responsible for mechanical engineers but what actually is mechanical engineering uh, mechanical engineering is the branch of engineering which deals with the design manufacturing maintenance and testing of machines this is what in totality a mechanical engineer does he does design it could be an adaptive design or it could be a creative design he does manufacturing manufacturing various components he does the maintenance of already existing machines and he also does the testing of machines if somebody has got an aptitude towards uh, machines you know probably uh, there is no other option other than getting into mechanical engineering this is what the strong belief i have and it is also considered as i said you know one of the oldest uh, broadest in the sense you know very diverse and versatile disciplines in engineering i repeat once again uh, there is a lot meaning when i am talking about this when i say it is it is the most diverse and the versatile disciplines of engineering uh, because unlike other uh, engineering disciplines wherein you can um, switch over from one engineering to the other engineering uh, but other engineering discipline candidates cannot switch over to mechanical engineering Uh, for example it and csc with the all due respect to them they want to get back after their course to mechanical engineering i think probably it will be difficult for them but a mechanical engineering student can easily get to work get into uh, other branches most of the courses which are required for the other branches are also taught in mechanical engineering so mechanical engineering basically includes applications as i said earlier of mechanics material science applied mathematics and physics uh, engineering in a nutshell it's not only mechanical engineering but engineering in a nutshell according to me is the application of physics meaning which if you are very very strong in fundamentals of physics probably uh, engineering becomes much easier and especially with respect to mechanical engineering and likewise you know mathematics also if you are little bit strong in mathematics i think no looking back for a mechanical engineering now with the rise of this modern technology mechanical engineering has witnessed Uh, a new found importance with more and more students opting to learn less explored, explored domains there are still a lot of domains uh, what are these domains i'll shortly try to introduce you uh, but there are less domains which are not yet explored and which are becoming really really popular of late uh, domains like robotics mechatronics uh, nanotechnology and uh, uh, additive manufacturing uh, these are all the new domains so if you are looking for mechanical engineering and uh, Uh, this is the right time to take the mechanical engineering because because you know the economy is really picking back again you know so no economy can survive without uh, mechanical engineers and all the people said the manufacturing is slightly down uh, post covid you know we expect that you know uh, there will be a big boom in manufacturing sector and there will be a lot of demand for mechanical uh, engineers now i would like to briefly touch upon after this brief introduction about the new trends in the future scope But the scope of uh, mechanical engineering no longer remains limited to just manufacturing, as I said earlier, and testing a few mach huge machinery and the equipment. Uh, that was a few years back, but with the advancement in the technology, right? Uh, we are crossing the boundaries, and we are trying to invite into the other fields of engineering also. Uh, these are the capabilities of a mechanical engineer. So, with the technology making new advancements, as I said, you know, there are several new domains in mechanical engineering which are being taken up. by passionate engineers so ultimately what is the that is required you know to excel in in mechanical engineering field is the passion so if you have passion uh, sky is the uh, limit in fact sky is also not the limit uh, with this space being explored right the sky is also not the limit now these domains as i said earlier include uh, new materials robotics nanotechnology computer aided design geo mechanics 3d printing etc now the three out of these the three highly unpursued domains are robotics and mechatronics both of which combine the knowledge of mechanical engineering with the other streams to deliver state of the art of products and also 3d printing uh, if you are a mechanical engineer i uh, mean if you join mechanical engineering what is expected uh, when you pass out is to have a knowledge about uh, these three important areas which are considered to be the future technologies in the field of mechanical engineering Uh, they are as i said earlier robotics mechatronics and 3d printing that is additive manufacturing 
Now, robotics is an interdisciplinary stream. As I said, you know, mechanical engineers are trying to invade the other streams also. This robotics gives a wonderful opportunity for us to uh, uh, get into, you know, electrical engineering, computer science, uh, a little bit knowledge about electrical engineering, computer science, and electronics will definitely um, ensure that, you know, you excel in the field of robotics. In fact, the curriculum in mechanical engineering of late is designed in such a way that you, you get all the elements of the other disciplines as a result of which they can be easily applied right, to the field of uh, uh, robotics. Likewise, you know, artificial intelligence is also becoming very, very popular, uh, which is generally taught by computer science department and all the robotics uh, field, you know, like in, in robotics field, you know, we do have artificial intelligence playing a major role. So in course of mechanical engineering, you'll also be taught about uh, artificial intelligence for mechanical engineers. That's how the curriculum is designed. And uh, robotics as a stream has been on the rise and it's expected to grow um, exponentially in the near future. So those who are joining right now, mechanical engineering uh, stream, I think, you know, they have got abundant opportunities if they can specialize slightly in the field of uh, robotics. Likewise, mechatronics too. It's also an interdisciplinary branch, as I said earlier, uh, with a little bit of mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, information technology, and uh, ECE also. So a mechatronic engineer is responsible for designing complex engineering systems and can assist process automation. Now we are all talking about automation and that's possible if you have the knowledge about mechatronics. Now from automobiles to heavy duty lifting machines and even the modern aircrafts that defy the speed barriers, a variety of modern systems are being designed under the supervision of the expert mechanical engineers. Uh, you, When you take about the aircraft, you know, like the role of a mechanical engineering, engineer is very, very significant in that. And uh, you will not find mechanical engineers, as I said earlier, limiting themselves to the manufacturing industry anymore. Mechanical engineers are being welcomed in various industries with an open arms and high compensation packages provided that the candidate are skilled and proficient. And this is where exactly I want to stress upon. It is the skill set that's important. It's not that just you, you enroll yourself for mechanical engineering course and expect wonders to be done. It is the skill set ultimately that speaks, and in, in, in four years of graduation, you're expected to acquire the required skill set as per the as per the market demand, and you also need to be very, very proficient in that. Uh, so let me touch upon uh, the current market uh, scenario and the scope further, right? Now, if you look at the market scenario, people talk about market scenario from the salary point of view. Uh, now, there is no comparison, obviously, for the computer science student and a mechanical engineering student. Now, the average salary package for mechanical, at fresher I'm talking about, uh, somewhere average is somewhere uh, lies between 3.5 lakhs to 4 lakhs. Uh, but this is not the case with uh, uh, computer science students. You know, they are on the higher set. But, but although for mechanical engineers, you know, the beginning, it is slow. Uh, uh, over a period of time, you know, I think uh, they are far above any experienced uh, computer science graduates. So please don't look at the initial stages, but in the long run, you know, like uh, that's how the that's how the mechanical engineering field is designed. Uh, because at the initial stages, a student is supposed to get experience and that experience over a period of time will definitely fit financially a lot for a mechanical engineering student. Also, I said, you know, knowledge of robotics and the robotic processes, uh, automation, uh, with a little bit knowledge about electrical electrical uh, engineering and computer science engineering and uh, electronics engineering right i think you will get a better package so when you when you when you take up this mechanical engineering uh, program you know try to see what are the courses which are offered if a mechanical engineering program offers uh, courses like you know robotics s i think you know it's a wonderful program if they are offering mechatronics, if they are offering 3D printing, if they are talking about modern manufacturing processes, uh, I, I think you know that mechanical engineering program is highly sought after. So again, you know, there are so many autonomous colleges and the universities which are coming into picture, and it is left to them to design the uh, uh, curriculum under each program. So if any university if is offering a BTEC program in mechanical engineering with what I just said as courses. I think you know you should opt for it, and obviously, Anurag University uh, is offering all these latest courses. Right? Uh, as I said, you know, even the, the 
packages you know like are lower as compared to the other uh, branches like computer science it, it over a period of time it is expected to rise again now what is that is expected at the workplace from a mechanical engineer assuming that you have joined you have acquired the latest skill set uh, skill set and then you are looking for a job in the market and then what is that at workplace a mechanical engineer is expected to do as a fresher now at work mechanical engineering freshers are expected to know about uh, mechanics thermodynamics robotics kinematics structural analysis and fluid mechanics with their applications in automotive sector power sector refrigeration and air conditioning sector and aerospace now this is what is precisely i have told i have told everything very precisely but this is what is expected from a fresher now if you look at the broad domains of mechanical engineering broadly they are into uh, they are into three domains uh, one is a design domain second one is thermal domain and the uh, third one is a manufacturing domain and now it's up to the interest of the student you know who enrolls for this program in mechanical engineering uh, to get expertise over a period of 4 years either in design uh, domain or thermal domain or the manufacturing domain uh, probably when we are offering electives so something called as a specialized advanced courses you know like you can select uh, uh, probably after second year you can select what you want to become you want to become a design engineer in mechanical engineering field or you want to become a thermal expert or you want to become a manufacturing expert so broadly these are the domains in which you know you can excel depending upon your interest uh, fine uh, i think you know i'll stop up at this stage uh, and i i i'll request uh, uh, dr mahipati sir you know uh, if he has got any queries so far or if he wants to have uh, something extra you know like i'll definitely interact thank you so much sir no you have given a full idea the area so anti energy plus robotics nanotechnology and post covid uh, we have a lot of opportunities uh, we share correct sir. mechanical engineering is called ante pratyekichi emana valaku oka క్వాలిటీస్ ఏమైనా ఉండాలా సార్ ఇప్పుడు జనరల్ గా సిఎస్సి లాంటి కోర్సులు తీసుకోవాలంటే లాజికల్ థింకింగ్ ఉండాలి అనిటికల్ ఎబిలిటీ ఉండాలి అంటారు కదా ఆ విధంగా మెకానికల్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ ఎందుకంటే ఎక్కువ మంది అడిగేటోళ్ళు నాకు మెకానికల్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ అంటే ప్యాషన్ ఎందుకంటే నాకు కార్లు అంటే ఇష్టము అట్లా అంటుంటారు కాబట్టి అంటే ఏం స్కిల్స్ ఉంటే మెకానికల్ ఇంజనీర్ గా మంచిగా సక్సెస్ రాదు రైట్ సార్ అంటే ఇన్ జనరల్ ఇఫ్ యు ఆర్ టాకింగ్ అబౌట్ yes definitely an engineer should have a basic fundamentals of uh, Uh, physics as well as the mathematics they should be really really strong and uh, because after all as i said earlier kadande engineering is all about application of physics physics is all about study of the nature nature's laws and matter uh, mechanical engineering especially will be maximum utilizing the nature's principles and we will try to apply it to the practical scenario and matter so a student should have that enthusiasm you know how actually nature works and uh, those skill set is expected to be there for a student already Uh, at intermediate level right and uh, he should have that application oriented mind and then id nen nechukunnanu id apply cheyali ante em cheyali ani oka aptitude la unte i think you know definitely combined with passion of course uh, see it's not by force you know you, it's not by uh, chance you are taking it you know i applied to so many uh, engineering fields and you know like i just got mechanical no uh, it's by choice you know if somebody has it and if he has got a passion and if he is strong in physics and mathematics i think you know there is no looking back for such a student right sir so mechanical engineering lo ipudu chaala aeronautical engineering ani automobile engineering ani metallurgy ani ug courses kuda konni colleges offer chestunnaru and metal man specializations ki ug lo elladam better a lekapothe kada mechanical engineering ki elladam better a deniki ekku avakasham undadu ante ipudu mechanical engineering as i said you know is uh, Uh, and if you are comparing with the other engineering streams i should say that in you know, a mechanical engineering the mother of all engineering branches okay. there is no doubt about it okay. in mechanical engineering again you have got sub uh, uh, fields many sub fields like automobile is a sub field of mechanical engineering and to some extent aeronautical also comes under uh, mechanical engineering so if you are broadly studying at ug level undergraduate level mechanical engineering and stream prajadite you have after uh, ug you, when you are doing pg you can opt for right uh, uh, probably specialization in automobile engineering probably specialization in uh, aircraft engines so that scope is there so uh, what i uh, what i request the students is to take up at ug level mechanical engineering get the required skill set to 
to pursue their higher studies and then go for a specialization so i don't advise the students to go btech in production engineering btech in uh, automobile engineering no i i advise them to go for a broader branch called mechanical engineering and then pursue their uh, rest of the career as you said that no, there will be three categories where they can get jobs so design engineer exactly, or leather exactly. manufacturing engineer or leather taken up man ki yes sir uh, inko ka sector manufacturing manufacturing, manufacturing strength sir manufacturing strength. production yeah. manufacturing designing this indulo na ante top 10 mechanical engineers recruit jese companies unnai ante a companies recruit yeah good you have touched upon the right point endukante most of them Uh, do undergraduate studies with the intention of uh, securing a job, yeah. and uh, being especially people who are joining at this moment, they are worried about their, uh, uh, you know, after four years, what is going to happen, right? I agree that you know right now the scenario is slightly bad with respect to manufacturing sector. That's because of the COVID situation. But uh, these students, those who are joining now after four years, there is a huge demand for mechanical engineers. Sir. I just said earlier, uh, economy cannot survive without uh, manufacturing sector. This is mechanical engineers in general. Now, looking uh, at the opportunities, you know, like uh, if you are talking about the private sectors and the government sectors, I would like to clearly differentiate between these two. I will try to talk first about uh, the lead players in the uh, private sector. Uh, let's take the Tata Group. I think you know, even a seventh standard student must have heard of Tata Group. No, that is the it has become a household name. and it is one of the biggest and the most successful business groups in india and uh, it holds the top position in mechanical engineering industry there is no secondary doubt about it uh, they the freshers in mechanical engineering can apply for jobs in tata steel right tata motors tata consultancy services tata powers and tata chemicals so there is a large uh, space to accommodate mechanical engineers in the tata group itself i'm talking about tata group alone likewise we have thermax thermax is also a multinational company which manufactures boilers they are pioneers in in uh, boilers not only in india but elsewhere in the world also so the our our mechanical engineering students can find recruitment opportunities in design uh, in thermax industry likewise larsen and tobro also larsen and tobro also you know like lnt everybody you know it's known as lnt and it is also a very very group a big group Uh, and uh, most of the students dream actually to get placed in lnt actually so and there are plenty of job opportunities for mechanical engineering freshers uh, in the areas of uh, you know various operational areas of the lnt such as lnt technology services lnt solar lnt infotech and uh, uh, lnt alloys limited so this is the third important private sector uh, that is lnt and likewise godrej group and the moment uh, godrej means you know people try to remember the refrigerators and air conditioners now this godrej group is ideal for freshers from mechanical engineers because rn rn is refrigeration and air condition is completely about uh, mechanical engineering so mechanical engineers can find recruitment opportunities in operations of electrical and electronics division and precision engineering division of this refrigeration and air conditioning uh, sector and godrej as i said you know so the fourth one is the godrej likewise ashok leland Ashok Leyland is the most renowned automobile manufacturing company in India, and it offers numerous jobs for mechanical engineering freshers every year. The company allows freshers to work in manufacturing, uh, IT, product design, and electronics, etc. Like with Kirloskar, yes, Kirloskar. Uh, I'm sure that you know any true mechanical engineer would have heard of it because it's a pioneer in India, especially with respect to engines and its parts, like with compressors, valves, uh, pumps, agricultural products. Uh, and again slightly about refrigeration and air conditioning related things uh, you know kirloskar is offering all this thing. so kirloskar is also one of the hot destination for the mechanical engineers like with general motors which is the fifth largest explorer of the i mean exporter of the vehicles in india so general motor india hires freshers from mechanical engineering colleges for operations in manufacturing product design and production so general motors also uh, a mechanical engineer can think of and crip industries uh, crip industries is all about uh, material services steel plant technology etc and siemens needless to talk about a multinational company with 19 factories in india alone and operations spread across the world so uh, they are in the consumer products healthcare energy building technologies etc and uh, every sector you know like needs the Uh, mechanical engineers and it will be a general statement you know whether it is a whether it is a 
uh, mean electronics industry or whether it is a uh, chemical industry or whether it is a uh, hardcore electrical uh, industry i think all these industries need basically mechanical engineers so i the reason why i started the whole discussion with mechanical engineer is a evergreen branch is this whatever might be the type of industry i think basically they need a mechanical engineers right so like was mahindra and mahindra right which is a very uh, which is an expert in automotive sector you know that's also one of the hot destination for our uh, mechanical students now whatever i told you know like uh, probably i have mentioned some 10 to 12 companies you know top companies uh, they belong to the private sector that's the dream of every mechanical engineer to get into those uh, sectors and if you are talking about uh, government sectors right you know bhl undoubtedly bhl bharat heavy electricals uh, limited which, who are into the design engineering manufacturing construction testing commissioning you know all these areas and definitely bhl is one of the largest company which recruits mechanical engineers and most of them it is to get examination immediately after graduation they can write a common entrance examination graduate aptitude test in engineering at the national level and they can probably get admitted to bhl like this hindustan petroleum corporation limited also needs lots of engineers every year mechanical engineers every year and it is one of the fortune 500 companies and it offers uh, luckily at the entry level jobs for mechanical engineers and even hpcl also uh, needs gate examinations and uh, as i said you know mechanical engineering is very versatile you know like they also fit into uh, drdo defense research and development organization and uh, this basically works in the area of military technology which includes aeronautics armaments uh, combat vehicles electronics instrumentation engineering systems missiles materials naval systems and advanced computing and simulation and life sciences so drdo uh, being uh, a prominent research organization in the field of military technology uh, i mean recruits a large number of uh, mechanical engineering students uh, like with indian oil corporation limited look at the range of uh, uh, public sectors you know who are recruiting uh, uh, the mechanical engineers you know like uh, ranging from ranging from hardcore automotive sector to the oil sector uh, like uh, refineries uh, marketing pipelines uh, marketing and pipelines and all these things you know like uh, uh, mechanical engineers are required and uh, in fact you know if you are talking about ivos in indian oil corporation limited which is the largest provider of oil gas petrochemicals and all alternative energy sources and alternative energy sources when we are talking about alternative energy sources i think mechanical engineers are the four uh, are at the forefront Uh, like with national hydroelectric power corporation this is one more uh, uh, government sector uh, which are looking for uh, mechanical engineers gail gas authority of india limited is one more uh, uh, government organization and uh, gas authority of india limited is also into construction manufacturing and designing and uh, all all I mean, construction engineer manufacturing and design engineers are recruited by this uh, gail like with coal india coal india is uh, one of the big shots in uh, public sector units and uh, every year they also recruit uh, most of the time unfortunately because uh, people feel that you know like the opportunities in computers are more than the uh, mechanical engineering but that's a false that's a false statement because uh, a software uh, a company can be established just adjacent to your uh, house with few computers and you know uh, that's how the business of the computer science uh, goes but when it comes to mechanical engineering we have very well established companies who recruit in large number and there is nothing called you know the demand is down and demand is more it is always consistent ever green so whoever are coming out of the uh, graduation and if they are a little bit good at uh, uh, the skill set required by the market uh, with additional uh, courses being completed i think you know no looking back for them you know fine uh, so this is uh, i hope i think you know like uh, srinivas sir i i answered your question no exhaustive list you know I, I'm sure that no, I, I, I accepted because you're going with the list. That shows that how many opportunities are there for the mechanical engineers. Uh, is it the fact that right, no, even right, mechanical right. engineers could a IT company lo job sustainable? Uh, Nijhe maina. Unte wala kya hona substitute ka software course na niche kolla. Like unte mechanical engineering lo ne course se mana unta ya. Very good. I think you know this aspect I did not touch, Shrinivas uh, sir. And as as I said, you know it's a very versatile and different no? mechanical engineering field and shape. and those who are looking for so called white collar jobs in the field of mechanical engineering right i think you know ample opportunities are there because uh, engineering mechanical engineering lo design anedi oka field undi aa design ela untadante maku stages kind vastund anamata 
uh, first we'll learn something called as the drawing then we'll do modeling and then we we'll do analysis after analysis we'll try to bring about the product and model. Uh, so when we are talking about each stage we have got n number of softwares associated with that and uh, for example if you're talking of simple drafting drawing real enter we have got something called as fusion 360 autocad packages and then a model is sent a modeling attorney and before i release i before i physically do it you know i would like to visualize that product allowing the engine the need to put software and simulation software for example solid works creo even the solid uh, modeling packages so a student can learn from an early stage you know autocad then solid works and then he does he can go to the little advanced analysis packages like ansys which are very, which is very very popular in the market so e moodu knowledge thoroga unte right a student can definitely get into software side ante i am not telling him to go to the development side i am telling him whatever the knowledge he has acquired in these four years in terms of mechanical engineering the same thing can be utilized but still he can switch over to it sector wherein he is working on software packages which are related to mechanical engineering so that's what i said you know in addition to the normal courses you know these four years he also should get this extra additional skill set you know which is required by the market definitely the passion will take him to the higher levels right anything any other question? thank you thank you very much so mechanical engineers go to it uh, sector kelachu software jobs kuda yeah yeah right. uh, any other questions somebody would like to not to go for the any job or anything else they want yeah. to go for higher studies what specialization very good yeah uh, it all depends upon other main other main and ipudu higher studies ante both in india as well as abroad yes. right let's talk about uh, indian scenario indian scenario lo when we are talking about higher studies kada uh, mtech is most popular uh, then there was the research right i did not touch upon research in mechanical engineering still you know like so we are going to the uh, undergraduate level to the postgraduate level uh, postgraduate level only as i said you know there are three domains in japan at one point of time uh, undergraduate level design domain undi uh, thermal domain and manufacturing domain accordingly mtech is offered in these three domains for example if i am interested in design mtech in mission design and a separate specialization undanamata if i am interested in thermal domain kada mtech in thermal engineering an okutundi or mtech in automobile engineering mtech in thermal systems alone if you are talking about i mean uh, production if, if a student has got passion to pursue in uh, manufacturing sector kada then uh, mtech in production engineering undi mtech in management information systems and the wherein uh, majority of the topics will be related to production anamata so mtech level definitely will take him to the higher level and all our advanced courses whatever he has studied uh, at fundamental level all those will be dealt at a higher level when they go for post graduation so mtech is one thing but uh, but abroad we call them as ms so ms in mechanical engineering is offered in fact uh, andhra university also has got certain faculty in department of mechanical engineering who are from who have done their post graduation from abroad so ms in mechanical engineering is generally offered but of late you know uh, because mechanical engineering is also trying to invade into the other streams you know uh, we have other streams like you know uh, mechanical engineering with intelligent systems right and uh, mechanical engineering uh, uh, with ai so all these new new combinations are cropping up and depending upon the market uh, position and the value the student you know after gra- graduation can take up these uh, courses elsewhere but in india i suggest them to go for uh, mtech because that's the easiest way of getting into iits uh, mtech is the most uh, uh, favorite path for the indian students if, if they cannot get into <laughs> engineering at iits level you know like they opt for gate examination if they excel definitely they can get into the uh, uh, thank, you, thank you so much so uh, for the uh, right, for right. the specialization uh, you shared Thanks. about the placements jo avakasalu ela untayi higher studies lo elthe ye specialization iskochu last but not least now people are talking about more startups and also you no know, entrepreneurs and all what will be the future of mechanical engineers if they want to become entrepreneurs can they become yeah very difficult question but i definitely would like to answer because uh, as a teacher for the past 20 years what i have been observing is uh, entrepreneurship uh, totally needs a different mindset 
entrepreneurship according to me is a mindset itself you know like uh, however courses we might teach you know like uh, uh, I, i think you know uh, basically if uh, if a person doesn't have that mindset you know he can never become an entrepreneur but there are many success stories i have seen you know like uh, ideally speaking as a teacher if you ask me i want out of 60 students in my class uh, 20 to get placed 20 to go for higher studies and 20 to become the entrepreneurs oh. ideally speaking uh, but i think it's not happening and it has not happened so far but i have seen slowly the trend of uh, uh, young engineers becoming entrepreneurs is increasing that could be because of the encouragement the current government is giving you know make in india policy you know like we have make in india mission so probably the students are getting inspired through that government policies and are taking up but but you know compared to all other in, uh, industries you know like uh, there is an ample scope for uh, young engineer to start uh, to to st- to begin a startup in in the field of mechanical engineering uh, because because if you look at the as i said earlier the, the areas in which the mechanical engineers are trying to creep in you know boundless cities so as a result of which you know a student can really think of going uh, can really think of becoming an entrepreneur there is an abundant scope this is what i wanted to tell you but again uh, an entrepreneur needs a separate kind of mindset you know which he has to acquire over a period of 4 to 5 years and i advise them based on their passion you know in this 4 years uh, itself to acquire that mindset and uh, be more passionate about becoming an entrepreneur and then start the work there shouldn't be any problem you know like yeah thank you thank you so much sir for uh, sharing your knowledge and experience and expertise in the area of mechanical thank engineering you, so would you like to share some concluding remarks before we conclude uh, yeah. what you exactly uh, would like to suggest to the people who are aspiring to become mechanical engineers yeah yeah uh, fine you know like to summarize all these things you know like uh, i just uh, i don't want the students you know and, and the parents in particular they are listening you know not to have prejudices about you know like uh, uh, this uh, uh, mechanical engineering you know most of them join the mechanical in the double mind what happens no there is only one uh, statement which i would like to give at this stage is that mechanical engineering was there is there and it is going to be there as long as the mankind exists right and what you are talking about you know ups and downs is only a relative statement but the demand for mechanical engineers are all is always there and it's going to exist again as long as the mankind exists uh so but as i said earlier you know no an engineer should have certain basic things you know uh, that enthusiasm of learning right and then uh, uh, an enthusiasm of exploring the things it's not just learning you know theoretically exploring the things especially a mechanical engineer should have that enthusiasm of you know if he sees a, an object you know to cut open the object and study more about it so it's not only the interest in the engineering but it's also mechanical engineering but it's also exploring that on your own you know without depending much on the colleges and all you know i think you know that will take them to a larger uh, level so my request is please join uh, mechanical engineering and uh, uh, and please opt for anurag group of university and i am always there and i have a wonderful team also back in anurag university who who are who have done a lot of research work in various uh, Uh, domains with whatever i have been talking about and we will definitely help you to become a very very good mechanical engineer and we will assure that you know your future is uh, taken care of thank yeah, you very thank much thank you sir. so much thank you sir. for uh, the moment you spoke about the anurag university i would like to ask a question <laughs> uh, there are many uh, uh, associations you have been you uh, know encouraging Thanks, at anurag sir. university especially related to uh, asme and all can you exactly, tell something sir. about the associations too oh very good uh, yeah uh, as i earlier said you know that uh, we also look from a student you know overall personality development you know so during the course of journey in four years uh, what we do is we systematically expose the student to the various activities one of the major activities is to get associated with the professional bodies for example we have one professional body called society of automotive engineers it is uh, if somebody is more passionate about making their own vehicle you know then sa is a wonderful platform society of automotive engineers you know we have uh, tie up with this professional body and we have experts coming from that society of automotive engineers and helping us this is one platform similarly i myself have started you know in association with the uh, um, sets sets is uh, uh, 
students exploration uh, for the development of space right so this is one more uh, uh, professional body through which a student can explore the space itself you know like uh, incidentally i did not touch about uh, isro isro also needs lots of mechanical engineers you know like and isro is all into the space activities and uh, uh, and uh, keeping isro in mind you know we started this activity called uh, we we have been associated with an association professional body called as the sets so a student again based on his interest you know whether he wants to get into automotive sector or whether he wants to get into the space area etc you know we have got different professional bodies so these are also some of the platforms where a student can excel on his own right with a minimum guidance you know because they are all like clubs student can uh, get inside and it's all it's all managed by the students it's like it's like by the students of the students and for the students you know like so that will give a lot of skill set to the students actually so good that you have asked me that uh, point uh, shrinivas sir you know we do have lots of professional bodies i mentioned it too but we have almost 12 professional bodies in which the students are enrolled and are trying to excel in each area right sir thank you thank you very much dr s madhu sir for uh, sharing your knowledge the experience and expertise related to mechanical engineering as you rightly said that uh, mechanical engineering is the mother of all engineering and we have opportunities uh, there is no limit for job opportunities in mechanical engineering and also you said that pay pay package may be uh, in the beginning uh, little but uh, when we get experience uh, you can beat the even it industry or it employees and also you said that now where we have this manufacturing sector is there design sector is there thermal sector is there there no as long as man can exist and yes. mechanical engineers need we need mechanical okay. engineers right uh, sir, thank right, you sir. very much and uh, you, you i like the statement that you gave that mechanical engineering department was there is there and will be there <laughs> and, uh, and i like the statement thank you very much sir with this i i uh, hope that all the students would like to go for mechanical engineering just they can take go by passion as i rightly said don't join mechanical engineering by chance but the by choice join mechanical engineering thank you thank you very much sir have a great time thank you very much srinivas sir so special thanks to you because you have given me a platform to educate the young minds regarding you know mechanical engineering i think it's a wonderful opportunity you have given me and i look forward to interact further you know whenever you know you provide me a platform thanks a lot sir thank you very much and thank good day so much, and good day to all the students